The flu is a virus that can spread quickly through communities because of how it's spread. Someone who's infected with the virus can simply cough or sneeze and infect someone who's standing close by when they inhale the droplets. Or they could cough and sneeze and the germs get on objects like shopping carts or um, railings, doorknobs, and someone who's healthy comes along and touches those objects and touches their face. Now they're infected too. The most common symptoms of the flu include fever, body aches, chills, headache, sore throat. Um, you might have a dry, hacky cough or have a stuffy, runny nose. Um, small children may also throw up and, and have diarrhea when they get the flu. All of these things are very normal. Now, thankfully, most of the time it runs its course after one to two weeks and people can move on without having complications. But for young children, it can affect them more adversely, especially children who are under the age of two. So if your child ever has flu-like symptoms and their symptoms are getting worse instead of better, be sure to talk with your pediatrician and after asking you more specific questions and performing an exam, they can decide if anything else needs to be done for them. Now there is no treatment for the flu, but sometimes things need to be done to support someone who has a bad case of the flu through it until they get better. Really, the best thing you can do for your children when they catch the flu is um, encourage lots of rest, encourage them to drink more frequently, and give them foods that are easy to digest like toast, yogurt, fruit, juice, those sorts of things. Um, give them lots of TLC. And of course, you can use over-the-counter medications that reduce fevers and pain as recommended by your doctor. You can also use a cool mist vaporizer for stuffiness and that loosens secretions and helps make it easier for their little bodies to manage or do a steam session in the bathroom before they go to bed. All of these things can be helpful. Now, of course, one of the most important things you can do for everyone in your house is get them a flu shot if they're six months of age or older. And this is the best way to protect yourself and your family. In addition to this, Wash your hands and encourage your children to wash their hands frequently. Stay away from people who you know are sick. And if your family gets sick, stay home until all the symptoms are gone so it doesn't pass to other people. If you have an older child that comes home from school and is sick but you don't want anyone else to get it, then decontaminate frequently touched surfaces in your home like doorknobs, countertops, railings, light switches, all of those sorts of things, and try to keep kids as isolated as you can, making sure they don't share drinks or food, and if they're using tissues, they throw them away right away. Teach them to cough and sneeze into their elbow, and when you take all of these precautions, hopefully you'll all stay well. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms, and recommend us to your friends and family too.